This is a love reading for Aquarius for November 2017. Alright, so singles. I'll say, okay, I'll, let me start this off with saying this is probably one of the most confusing readings. And what it leads me to feel is that Aquarius, you guys right now, all Aquarius in general, I feel like you guys are so scatterbrained right now. Like just all over the board, okay? So my first bit of advice before I even go into the reading is like try to, try to, clean up the clutter, try to like reel it in. <laughs> okay. It's very important because right now, I mean, you guys are just, um, chaotic. Um, what I get is that like you, you meet new people and you jump in too quickly into the relationship you definitely jump in too quickly uh, into the sack, okay? So you're having sex too quickly. You are um, you're jumping into the relationship too quickly, and then uh, and I feel like you get serious very very quickly in the relationship. So you would you could very quickly get engaged, um, and because you yourself have low self-esteem, you like quickly pull the plug on the relationship. So like, you're like all in, you almost like fool these people into getting into a relationship with you. And then you're like, never mind, I don't love you. And they're just like, blindsided and I feel like they look at it as you're playing games like they look at it as like you're a crazy person okay and you look at it as like oh what I was just I was just having fun like you know like so what like it didn't work out like okay like it's not as like big a deal to you as it is to the person that you're you're with which is, like, really shocking to them. And then also, like, what I get is that, like, if it's not you pulling the plug, if they're the one pulling the plug on the relationship because they feel like there's some sort of chaoticness, like, or game playing on your part, I feel like you, you try to, like, trap somebody with children, Like, you tell people you, you're pregnant so that they won't dump you. Because you, like, want to stay in the, in the relationship or engagement. But you know that it's a lie. You know you're playing, like, this game with this person. It's all because you have... You're doing this because you, you don't love yourself. And, you know... Obviously, the people, they, they figure it out, right? That this, the children is a, is a ruse. And it's all, it's so sad because they, when they hear about the children, they, when they think that you're pregnant, they like want to stay. They want to, they want to be with you. They want to help. But like, then Oh God. And then I, I'm getting that. Like you, you tell them you're pregnant. So they come back to you. They're, they're, they're trying to stay optimistic about it, about the relationship. And then that's when you say you're not, that you don't love them anymore. And they're like, what? And then you, then you drop the bomb. You're not even pregnant. And they're just like, what? You, you just like, you, you, you've got to stop doing this. And how you're going to stop doing this? You have to make the effort to love yourself. It's the only way. And I'm, it's, and I, 
it's a weird thing too because I'm getting that like you also do this because you've been hurt before in the past so you're it's like you take it out you take out your your past issues uh, your past hurts on other people. And so if you have children from past relationships, you use them as a weapon against the person that you're with. So like if you were with somebody, um, even if it, even if it's the father of the, father or mother of the children, you use it against them in a way where it's like, um, Like, if you got engaged with somebody and then they dump you, you, you would be like, I can't believe you're, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt my children. Um, or if it's the father or mother of the child, then, and they, they break up with you, you would say, I can't believe you're gonna leave the children. Like, you're not even bringing yourself up into the situation. Like, it's, you're, you're, like, putting the kids in the middle of it, which isn't fair to them. So, I understand being hurt in the past. I understand, you know, but, like, it's just one of those things, like, you really need to take care of yourself. You really need to love yourself because, like, playing these games with people's emotions and, and hooking them with sex and um, and children, the idea of children or or for real children, and and then like and then like playing games with their head and telling telling them you don't love them, and I mean, it's so toxic. Not only to the other person that you're dealing with, because you're you're definitely damaging them, but you're damaging yourself more than anything. You're creating quite a reputation for yourself, which is not good. And then if you have kids, you're damaging those children. Absolutely. So you need to be so careful. And you really need to stop this. Stop the games. Stop the, um, you know. And if somebody has unrequited love, if they, if they are not loving you the way that they were or that you wanted them to, like, you need to just cut them out. You can't let them keep coming in and out. Okay, it's not healthy for yourself. You, you just have to put the effort f towards yourself. And don't worry about this other stuff. Because it's not important. The most important thing is loving yourself. Because not only does it, you know, make, it a make you able to love other people. It also, if you have kids, it sets a good example for them. Okay. So please, 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 um, please work that out. Okay, uh, couples, with couples, I definitely feel like there's a little bit of lack of effort, okay, in, in, towards the relationship, okay, and it's, and it's more, um, lack of effort towards, uh, sexual chemistry, okay, and it does have to do, again, with, with loving yourself, okay, there's, you need to make effort to love yourself, um, There may be some cheating going on, okay, because there's unrequited love in the relationship and the sexual chemistry is gone. Um, you could be married to this person, you could have children with this person. And what this is saying is that and that would be why there's cheating going on because there's a lack of love for them for yourself, okay? So 
like I think that you really need to work on, especially if you have kids, you need to work on it for their sake, um, to give the relationship a chance, stay optimistic in the relationship. Don't, don't let this, this unrequited love, like, affect, uh, the future of the relationship, because I feel like it's, I feel like it's, you feel like it's, uh, not, <sighs> right now I feel like you feel like it's, it's not, uh, recoverable, and I think that it is recoverable, if you make the effort, and you stay optimistic. Now, if you have kids, you can't do it for the kids, you have to do it for each other, okay, and for yourself. Um, so that's very important, you have to want it, okay. But um, also, um, if you don't have kids, and you do put forth the effort, to work it out and to get that sexual chemistry back and, and the playfulness, um, the love will be renewed and it will feel like you're newlyweds again. Um, or if you're, if you're not married, you will get engaged and get married and you will have kids with this person. If you can overcome this feeling of, uh, like they're like the chemistry is gone. Um, and maybe, you know, the first step to recovering that is admitting to not only yourself, but to your partner that you have some self-esteem issues. And if you're cheating, uh, you, you might need to reveal that also. Okay. Um, Revealing cheating, it could possibly um, make it harder for the other person to uh, work on it. But I do see that they they would stay and work on it with you. It just would probably be a little bit harder. Um, so very uh, interesting, um, <laughs> all over the place. And uh, but I would say. Um, just got to stop with like game playing and, um, and any sort of, uh, using children, uh, as a weapon, um, and just please work on loving yourself. It's extremely important. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you want a personal reading, and thank you for listening.